Hi guys, you're welcome to my YouTube channel again. My name is Glory Elijah and you are welcome to Frankly Speaking with Glory. So today guys, on the Big Brother Niger show, a lot of drama are still unfolding. The housemates are getting in their feelings, they are coming out of their feelings. There's laughter, there's joy and there's aggression. And guess what guys, Venita is in the middle of all, most of the drama that's been happening today. So Biggie gave the housemates a task yesterday to become nursing mothers to an egg yes and you know everybody's supposed to personalize the egg and also take care of the egg as much as a mother would take care of the egg so it got all the housemates busy and focused and um aside that there's this lover's rift going on here and there in the house guys it's driving everybody crazy so there is still the Mercy and Ike's lovers rift. Those ones, they know how to quarrel and settle and come back. And then there's Gedoni and Kafi's lovers rift. I talked about it this morning, but then apparently there's still a lot of stories still coming up from the Wahala, which I'm going to share. And also, the latest one that's happening in the house is between Venita and Fraud. And guys, I am happy to announce to you that Kimopra is no longer the queen of manipulation. Yes. Venita is the newest queen of manipulation. I mean, babe came into the house and already she's putting fire in different relationships. Already she has rejected Omashala and Omashala has moved on. Omashala, and to show you the guy cool thing still exists, Omashala has gone ahead to make peace with fraud. So Omashala is cool with fraud, but Omashala now is avoiding Venita's wahala. Yeah. And also, guys, yesterday um fraud had like you know a conversation with esther both of them are trying to become friends you understand like the friendship that they were not able to create when nelson was still in the house both of them are trying to create that friendship now and it's working quite all right for them but then it seems like venita doesn't like that sort of attention that fraud is giving to esther and also guys what even happened yes tonight According to Fraud, because Mike called him just this evening to have a conversation to, with him, you know, asking him what did he do to Venita to piss her off, to make her angry, that she's packing her things away from Fraud's best side. Remember, guys, last week, Venita left Omashola. She said Omashola was too loud and too aggressive. So she packed her things away from his best side and then she moved, right? So um, now again, Venita is upset with fraud so she's moving her things again away from away from front's bedside <laughs> this girl is crazy and then another thing that venita is doing is she's having conversations with gedoni and she knows that kafi does not like it so that's part of the reason why kafi is acting crazy yeah aside the fact that gedoni has always complained that kafi is too clingy and kafi is too is too controlling so guys this is what fraud said happened you know yes tonight they were having a lot of conversations and then both of them had a bath together hey i trust mike now the investigator mike asked like what kind of bath and he was like no it was a protected bath like they were not completely naked there was nothing sexual that happened but guys how how are we supposed to know that how are we fucking supposed to know that because Biggie did not show us the bathroom scene. In fact, Biggie has stopped showing us the bathroom scenes. So there's nothing anyone is going to tell me about a damn protected bath that I'm going to believe because I believe that a lot of shit can go on in the bathroom. Yes. So guys, as I was saying, Fraud said that he and Venita had a protected bath in the bathroom. Yes. So they had the bath. Nothing sexual happened. And then when they came out of the bathroom, he and Venita, they lay on the bed and he told Venita a story. Yes, we all know that Front has a reputation for having plenty, plenty stories and gist in the house to share. So he said that he told Venita a story, right? And um, that night they both slept and then this morning they woke up. And then when Biggie gave them a, a task, right? The task was for them to, each housemate to pick a piece of paper from the magic hat. And then whichever name you find there, you're going to show that person 10 minutes of care. Yes, or kindness rather. So all the housemates did theirs, you know. Mercy asked Joe to give her a 10 minutes meaningful hug. And um, what did Jeff do? Jeff gave Esther a scalp massage and a very, very funny and hilarious um saloon treatment you know this sort of saloon treatment you get in in the america black american society you know with all the gossips and all the trills that comes with it and um fraud had a chit chat conversation with esther and esther opened up and expressed her feelings and affections for fraud so while we were having
having this conversation, Venita passed and probably heard one or two things that Esther said, and that freaked her out, and she got really, really pissed. So, she went into the room and started moving her things, and Frog was trying to talk to her, and then she, she was pissed. She was like, Frog should never ever talk to her again. Frog should stay away from her. She got really upset. Like, let's just say, technically, she broke up with Frog. So, earlier still in the evening she was talking to mercy about it and she was telling mercy that she doesn't give a damn she doesn't give a fuck she doesn't give a fuck she just kept on shouting she doesn't give a fuck that she's already good fucking with herself she doesn't give a fuck about anybody and mercy was trying to explain to venita that look mess um, esther was the first girl that um fraud really really showed his likeness for and venita was like she doesn't give a fuck that she doesn't care blah 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 so she's really pissed and then on the other hand fraud was having a conversation with uh, Mike, right? Mike, as usual, is trying to be the peacemaker and is trying to ask um, Fraud what happened, what he did to Venita. And Fraud was like, for him, he still sees Venita as his friend because, and currently, he's using his head. That the last time he used his heart to chase a woman, that's Esther, that he got really, really hurt and had broken. And nobody stood up for him. Nobody came to talk to him about it. So now, whether whichever female he's relating with in the house, he's relating with that female with his head because he doesn't want to get hurt anymore. So um, Mike was asking him, like, don't you feel anything for Benita? And he was like, well, that he hasn't started feeling anything for her yet. That Benita is probably catching feelings because, of course, there was nothing he said or did to you know insinuate that he actually wanted them to move forward from the friendship yet you know and i'm like wow fraud has grown no fraud has really come into you know that age of maturity where woman no graffiti can play again anyways guys that's what happened you know and fraud is like well if she doesn't want to sleep beside me again no problem if she doesn't want to do anything with me again no problem but that doesn't mean i can't be nice to her that doesn't mean i can't be nice to esther so guys this whole wahala is causing a love triangle between fraud and venita and esther and then for gedoni gedoni is talking to sadi and he's telling sadi that look that the only problem he has with kathy is she's very clingy and aside that whenever both of them have like an issue which is not really an issue instead of her to come and talk to him directly she would rather go and talk to other housemates including the housemates that he doesn't really have you know affections or relations with you know she just goes about spilling all their relationship secrets to everybody in the house so it's like now it takes a whole village to have um, a relationship in the house and i understand how gedoni feels but still i still feel like guy dude if you don't want to have this thing anymore with this lady just move on instead of making her you know instead of making her feel like um you love her or there's still something you want to have with her so guys what do you think my question do you think that fraud is gonna go back to esther now that venita is out of the picture do you think that fraud and esther are going to continue from where they did not even start in the first place whatever your your answer is whatever your opinion is kindly put that below in the comment section and guys this is meant to be a brief video thank you guys so much for always watching my videos and um remember guys if you're yet to subscribe to this channel it's for free simply click on the red subscribe button to become a part of this family and also to join the notification gang it's quite easy just click on the white bell button to always get a lot of my video whenever i upload a new one and that will be all for this particular episode of Rackle speaking with glory thank you guys so much for watching till next time good night bye